I didn't want to win. I still don't want to win for some reason. Mm. I don't care about winning. So I have this thing called taking souls, okay? And when you see Apollo Creed turns around, arms in the air, well, I'm tired. Mm. And I just want people to be tired. <laughs> All I wanted people to do in my life, I don't care about money and fame. I don't care if any, I don't care if all my followers go away tomorrow. What are you? Mm -hmm. What the hell? I've done a lot of shows, um, but I don't go back and watch them that much. You know, I'll watch them a couple times when we do them. I'll go back and watch and listen to this last 10 or 15 minutes of We Talked About several hundred times. That's the most incredible thing I've heard. I'll just tell you straight up. That's the most incredible, beautiful, magnificent thing I've heard since I've been doing the show. Thank you for me for that. I appreciate that. I want to, um, that's just silly, crazy, awesome. It's just ironic. So I'm a Rocky fan, but this is going to trip you out. I actually got chills. I was reading about you and prepping because I've known about you for a long time. And like, I gotta have something in common with this dude, right? right? I gotta have something in common with him. And so, uh, Sly's a friend of mine too now, which is really weird, but um, I'm a Rocky fan, but I'm really a Rocky One fan. But not only am I a Rocky One fan, I've watched the 14th round. Oh my God, See, dude. Now my children are coming. Yeah, I've watched the 14th round of the Rocky One movie. I'll venture to say, I can't count them, but it's got to be more than a thousand times yes. in my life. Easy. And so when I was a little boy and all the turmoil in my life and the dysfunction in my family and the things I wanted to achieve, I learned to visualize in my life by watching Rocky. That was my visualization. The fitness part, the training, the yeah. overcoming stuff. There's just this little part of me that's like a little mini Rocky in there. It's why I love working out. It's and for me, it was the way he would take punishment. It's at the end of the 14th when he goes, cut me, Mick, and Mick cuts him, right? So they're gonna think we're both just crazy. But what, have you watched that a couple times? And, and what, if, what did it do for you? I just wanna finish on this, cause like, this taught me to visualize and dream. There were no, my family's not like yours, but there's no dreaming or visualizations no. or motivation or go do something special. There was nothing like that in my house. I had Rocky, and mainly Rocky 1. I love them all, but like the Rocky 3 running on the beach scene, all that, but Rocky 1, 14th round at least a thousand times. What about you? No shit, <laughs> at least 20,000 times. <laughs> Why is that? Yes. Um, I've dissected that two minutes and some seconds, two minutes and 13, 14, 15 seconds, at least 20,000 times. Mm -hmm. When I did the pull-up record, and I finally broke it. Took did, you three times. Yep, did 4,030 in 17 hours. I listened to one song for 17 hours, and it was going the distance. Oh my God. Two minutes and 13, something, 14 seconds. On it, a loop. On a loop, but first, the guy, this guy named Nandor, he kept playing out loud for everybody. And I brought my own little iPad. I don't ever listen to music. But I was failing so many times at this record, I had to go to that place. So I said, you know what, I don't want to bore you all anymore with this same song, because I, I had a crew of people there filming it, mm. you know, because it had to be documented. Mm. So I didn't want them to be there for 17 hours listening to the same song, kind of, mm. it bore them. So I put in my ears, listening the whole time. But I'm going to go a step further. In that round, when Rocky gets knocked down, and Mickey's saying, stay down, stay down, and he's getting up. Apollo Creed thinks that he knocked him out. So I have this thing called taking souls, okay? And when you see Apollo Creed turns around, arms in the air, I got him. Do you see when he turns around yes. and he sees, cause he, Apollo Creed knows I was fucking this dude up. Yep. He kept coming after me and I finally knocked him down. When he turns around and looks at Rocky and, and he says, and watches him get up, and Rocky gets his gloves and motions him to come to him. Yes. Apollo puts his head down and just goes like this. It's not so much Rocky getting up. That's big for me. Apollo Creed's face yep. became every motherfucker that verbally and non-verbally 
looked at me, because you know that look they give you when you think that, you know, mm -hmm. they may not tell you you're a piece of shit and mm -hmm. you're nobody, mm -hmm. but they look at you almost like, you poor thing. Mm -hmm. I got them all. Mm -hmm. I got them all on that phone. You know that, that, that little wheel you have with, with everybody's name on it and phone numbers and shit? Yeah. I got them all in that motherfucker in my head. Mm -hmm. And I spend that bitch every motherfucking day. And I know right now, whether you hate me, love me, I'm a I'm a this, I'm a that. Whatever you want to think, I made it. And I know all of you are looking just like Apollo Creed did because I just kept getting the fuck up. And all I wanted people to do in my life, I don't care about the fucking money, I don't care about the fucking fame, I don't care if any, I don't care if all my followers go away tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I wanted a lot of people mm -hmm. that doubted me to look like Apollo Creed did in that 14th round because I got back up repeatedly. Mm -hmm. And when you keep on getting back up like that, no matter how strong the person is that's beating the shit out of you, they eventually <laughs> look at you and say, you know what, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to be tired. <laughs> just be tired. I want to make you tired mm -hmm. because I just continue. So that's what that movie did to me. That, that movie changed how I looked at life. Me too. It did. Me too. I'm blown away because the part of the scene, thank you, the part of the scene, anybody that knows me real well, all my life I wanted people to give me that. He gives them that like, what the, what are you? What mm -hmm. the hell? And I wanted, whether it was a coach or dudes I grew up with or whatever it was at point, just go, what are you? That's it. And, um, and I, I gotta tell you, I don't do that with a lot of people. I, I do that with you. I like and I'm that. I have a tremendous amount of respect for you. Thank you. And uh, I'm proud to know you now. Well, yeah. I I really appreciate that. And I didn't want to win. I still don't want to win for some reason. Mm. I don't care about winning. Mm. For some, I just want to go to distance. Yeah. And that's a true story, man. I, I and so it's uh it's a powerful movie, man. But yeah. but thank you for your kind words and what mm. you said. It's, I'm very humbled by that. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the next thing is for you. And uh, I really am because um, this is nowhere near the distance. Right. You're nowhere near, right? right. And so um, I'm really excited. If I can ever help with any of it, I'm certainly here for uh, you as a friend. I appreciate it, man. I'm a big faith believer, man. Even though people look at my mouth and say, how can you believe in God? I'm sorry, man. We live on earth. Mm -hmm. And sometimes life is fucking hard. It sure it is. It don't mean you don't believe in shit. But I know for a fact, as f as my life has been, to be where I'm at today, um, there's obviously more. I, I'm, I'm obviously a messenger of some sort because I don't fit the mold, man. Yeah. I'm obviously a messenger, so. All your life's been preparing you for this moment. I'm I, excited for the next one. I believe that. Thank you for today. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Pleasure you, meeting you. Thank you. Everybody, I don't have any words. You heard it or saw it. And so I know your life was moved. You know, all I ask you to do is share this show with somebody that you care about, somebody you believe in, somebody that you want to see win. Please do that. God bless you and continue to max out your life. David Goggins reflects on how the movie Rocky served as a powerful source of inspiration and motivation in his life. He describes how the film's depiction of fitness, training, and perseverance deeply resonated with him, especially since his own family lacked emphasis on dreaming or motivation. Watching Rocky, particularly the iconic scene in the 14th round where Rocky refuses to stay down despite being badly beaten, taught him the importance of visualization and dreaming big. Goggins shares his personal experience of attempting to break a pull-up record, during which he listened to the Rocky theme song going the distance for 17 hours straight. He attributes his success to channeling Rocky's resilience and determination. The pivotal moment in the movie where Apollo Creed realizes Rocky won't stay down serves as a metaphor for Goggins' own life, where he refuses to let doubters define his worth. He expresses a desire for those who have doubted him to recognize his resilience and determination winning isn't Goggins' primary focus rather, he strives to go the distance in life. Despite facing hardships, he maintains faith in God and believes he is destined for a greater purpose, 